I'm sorry. I didn't see you there. I was just reading an old favorite. It was the night before Christmas, and all through the house. No one was stirring. Not even a mouse. You know, music always plays an important part during the Christmas season. Whether it's from classical compositions to modern day renditions, even though they start rather early. Music always is very important in the season. And such music is important in the hearts of St. Francis men. From concert and jazz bands to chaos and chorus, all of them have a very distinct and important part of the St. Francis tradition that exists here. I think that the concert is going to be very successful on Wednesday the 14th at 7 p.m. We have three choruses lined up. We've got the male chorus, we've got the chorus classes, and Scola. The male chorus will be performing three different uh, traditional carols, two German, one Polish carol. The chorus classes will be doing a variety of different pieces. One is a 16th century traditional Latin chant, and the, uh, the Scola will be performing very difficult four-part harmony pieces, some of which are in different languages, and some of which are in English, uh, with a fun ending for all, so it's going to be a good concert. This year for the Christmas concert we're going to sing a song, it's called uh, Noel. Um, it's got some really cool four-part harmonies, and the Scola song's great singing. And this year in the Scola we're also singing a song called Zian Herp, which is a German carol, which means Zian hears the watchman singing. So uh, hopefully that'll be a treat for everybody. The senior solo is going to do the song Glory to Thee. It's got a great four-part melody and should relate to everybody. Christmas concert, which is Wednesday night, the 14th, 7 o'clock, in the uh, auditorium. And all of the music groups from St. Francis will be performing. We're going to start out with the concert band, and we're going to do something a little bit different this year. We're going to start out with uh, some Christmas carol singing with the audience. And then the concert band will play three concert numbers. We'll go right into our jazz group, the Jazz Messengers, and they have four numbers that they're going to play, including Cruising with Santa, uh, Charlie Brown Christmas, uh, Santa Land, and Funky Old St. Nick, which is always a favorite. And then Chaos comes on, and they have a very special show planned uh, called uh, Here Comes Christmas. Uh, then there'll be a very short intermission as we get set up for our great vocal groups and performing uh, will be our senior scola, the choral classes, and the male chorus. So we are inviting the entire student body and all the faculty to come out Wednesday night to our Christmas concert. It should be a great concert and we're looking forward to uh, playing for everybody in the St. Francis family. <laughs> And now we'll be right back with a quick commercial. And now we will take a glimpse to see how Christmas is celebrated around the world. I'm Mrs. Chen from the library and uh, I'm Polish so I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, Polish traditions during Christmas time and we call Christmas holidays uh, Święta Bożego Narodzenia and the most important day during the Christmas time is the new Christmas Eve which we call Vigilia and that's when we all get together, whole family and uh, we eat a fancy dinner and the dinner is supposed to have at least 12 dishes um, we start eating dinner the moment we see the first star in the sky. Uh, we start dinner with the sharing of the wafer. And then we continue eating and after the eating portion we sing carols, which we call kolende. And after the, after the eating we open presents. We always leave an empty um, set of dishes for our plates for a guest. So um, we have that extra set for someone who will come unexpectedly. Uh, we also um, 
go to the mass at midnight, so after eating we eat for a long time and then after eating we go, a uh, whole family goes to mass at midnight. All the presents after the Christmas tree, Christmas tree we call hoinka, so all the presents after the Christmas tree are brought by Santa, uh, who we call uh, Święty Mikołaj in Poland. Bonjour à tous, on va discuter la Noël en France. So, hi everybody, we're going to talk about Christmas in France. Uh, very simply put, the French don't celebrate Christmas to the same extent that we do. They don't decorate quite as much. Uh, you know it's Christmas because you'll see people uh, putting up their Père de Noël, uh, that's Father Christmas or Santa Claus. Sometimes you'll see les sapins, you'll see them at the florist shops. The French don't have room in their apartments, especially in Paris, for big, tall Christmas trees. So a sapin, it's about that big, about that wide, it's a très petit, very small, okay? Uh, traditionally, the French like to serve la bouche de Noël, which is the Yule log. For those of you who haven't had that, uh, it is basically a log cake and very delicious, very creamy. And then finally, of course, for Christmas, everybody exchanges les cadeaux, which is your presents. C'est tout. Uh, joyeux Noël. Hi, I'm Miss Hess. I wanted to talk a little bit about Christmas traditions in Spanish-speaking countries. One of the big things that they celebrate is Christmas Eve. They call it La Noche Buena. And everyone gets together and they go to Midnight Mass, which is called Misa del Gallo. They return to their homes and they have a nice traditional family supper with their family, having traditional foods. In Mexico at this time of year, on December 12th, um, they celebrate the Feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe, who's the patron saint of all the Americas. And a lot of people went to the Shrine of Guadalupe yesterday. Thousands and thousands of people gathering at the Basilica. They make a pilgrimage there. And that's kind of like the official beginning of the Christmas season. Another thing they do in Mexico is what they call Las Posadas. This recreates the journey of Joseph and Mary to Bethlehem. And groups of people will get together in their neighborhoods and they'll have processions down the street. They'll carry um, the nativity figures, Joseph and Mary. Sometimes they'll dress up. The people will dress up in costumes. And it represents Mary and Joseph looking for a place to stay. They do that for nine days in a row. And at the end of each night, they'll have a party in one of the neighbor's homes. They'll break a piñata and have some traditional foods. Every household sets up a nativity scene, a beautiful manger scene, and it's really the centerpiece of their decorations. And they have firework celebrations a lot of times, including for New Year's Eve. One of the things that's a little bit different um, than what we do here in the United States is that they believe that the gifts for the children in Spain and Mexico are brought by the three kings, or los tres reyes magos. They believe that the kings bring the gifts just like they did to Christ when they visited him. Um, in the stable, and they will do the gift exchange on the night of January 5th into the Epiphany, which is January 6th. Kids will leave um, hay and carrots out for the camels of the three kings, and they have their shoes filled like we do stockings, and then they receive their gifts. Feliz Navidad y Prospero Año Nuevo! Hi, I'm Connor Abar, and what I do with my family during Christmas is that we go to Mass together and we open our presents in the morning and we tell how much we love each other. Hi, I'm, I'm Tanner Campbell, and uh, during the Christmas season, I like to sing carols um, with my friends and uh, wait for Santa and uh, spread the cheer. My name is John Shunk, and uh, I love the holidays. Every Christmas, uh, my family. We put up our 12-foot artificial Christmas tree, and uh, Mom tells us the stories of all of her ornaments that she collects. Each one has a story, and I always like to get something very special for my brother. Hi, I'm Nick Lenahan, and I put cookies out for Santa. Um, the big thing is for my family is on Christmas Eve, we go caroling. My name is Mrs. Stahl, and um, I have a lot of Christmas traditions in my family. I'm a very big family, and one of the things that we do is um, when we visit each other's houses, we borrow their wise men, and um, sometimes um, we send notes, like ransom notes, or we deliver them, um, you know, in the mail. I wrapped them in saran wrap, and then I, I kind of cooked them in Jello, and that was for our Christmas dinner. So. Some of the people in my family don't like this tradition that I started about 10 years ago, but it's kind of fun.
please come celebrate Christmas with us here at St. Francis tonight at 7 p.m. for the Christmas concert and on December 18th for Greccio.